Hey there, gardening gang. So today I am putting up one of the temporary greenhouses that I put up that I use to harden off seedlings and grow some of my dahlias in and just generally manage everything that I'm growing at this time of year. I also put in annuals in there. So if I either get annuals in the mail or I go shopping, and find annuals and it's still too early to put them out but i don't want to take the chance of missing them in the store i will put annuals in there the thing is is that i have had um, one of these sort of temporary greenhouses for i don't know eight years maybe uh, and it's held up well the problem is i've uh, outgrown it so rather than getting a bigger greenhouse when the other one is still fine i just bought a second one this year which i sort of like the idea of because once I start consolidating, getting things out of there, I can take one down and we'll only have one up. So I bought a second one this year. This is called the Flower House Harvest House Pro. And it's um, six and a half feet tall, four and a half feet wide and six feet deep. And I'm gonna just show you how it goes up because I've had a ton of people ask about it. It's really simple to get up. It holds up really well. Um, and I like that there are stakes that you can put in the ground to help keep it in the ground. I have seen a lot of other greenhouses that have big, almost like lines that you put down to stakes, like with a tent. And I don't really like that too much. You know, this is not a perfect solution. It's pretty flimsy. Um, the cover in particular is pretty flimsy and you do tend to get holes in it, which I patch up with tape for a couple of years. And then after a while I buy a new cover, but it totally does the job for me. So we're going to throw this guy up so you guys can just see. It says it sets up easily in minutes and it is minutes. Sometimes it's more minutes than usual, but you'll see the whole process come together. Um, and that's what we're doing today. Okay, so it's more or less set up. We ran into a little problem with the stakes, which is that um, I think there's still a lot of frost in the ground, so we could not get them all in. So we've tied down the cover as best we could. We'll get those stakes in as soon as we can. I just wanted to show you something. These are the stakes. The long ones are the stakes that came with this one. The short ones are the stakes that came with our old one. So they have made those stakes a lot longer. So. I think the frost will be out of the ground very soon here. So I'm not gonna worry too much about this. I will go and tie, um, cause what you do is you hit the corners. If you can see there's little, there's little strings in the corners and you, you put the stakes through the little ties and through the base of this at the same time. 
Okay, so um, as you can see, there's two zippers on the door here, which is really nice. Sometimes I just leave one open for um, ventilation. And then this whole thing rolls up and you can tie it all up with the ties. And then I think you can see um, inside of here how much room there is. I will be able to get um, a fair amount in here. I actually will put flats this way in there so i'm able to get usually two or three flats per shelf in here and then of course along the back let me take you in there so we've got shelves on the back and there also are shelves on the ground on the sides i only put those in there so that pots aren't sitting directly on the soil um, it's kind of a lousy spot for stuff but it's more room and then there's a window here that opens both from the inside and the outside which is really nice. Um, once it gets warm, I almost always have, leave that open during the day to make sure there's at least that amount of ventilation in here. So this is it, you guys, it's nothing fancy, but it does the job. I will tell you, these spots right here on the outside, this is where it typically tears because there's kind of a um, pointy bit right there. Um, I just throw some clear plastic tape over that. Even duct tape would do it. And once that gets too ratty, I just buy a new cover. You can pick up the covers for, right now they're about $35. I've seen them as cheap as 15. Okay, so that's it. I just want to show you guys, we didn't follow the directions. We've been putting it up for a lot of years. I'm not sure if we did it all right, but suffice to say it's pretty simple to put up. It does help to have two people to put it up and it does help to have a taller person. Like I can't get this cover on by myself. So it's help to, helpful to either have a stool or a tall person. Uh, tall person is a lot easier. And that's it. Um, so how I use this just quickly is I use this for a lot of things. I use this primarily for hardening off seed, uh, seedlings. Uh, it really makes the hardening, process, hardening off process a lot easier. I will take some Harvest Guard or fleece, whatever you want to call that little thin fabric uh, row cover that, and I will put that over plants when I first get them out here to A, help protect them from the really bright sun and B, offer another layer of insulation. I gradually take that off to expose them. Uh, if it's going to be cold at night, I will put, I will put that fleece back over them again. And sometimes if it's going to be really cold, I will put a five gallon, take a five gallon bucket inside and fill it up with super hot water and put that in here to help keep the ambient temperature a little bit warmer in here overnight. It works pretty well. You just have to be careful that you don't put out anything that's really loves uh, warmth. Like for instance, one year I put out um, like tropical annual vines that did not go well. They, I saved them, but barely. Things like tomatoes, you wouldn't want to put anything like that on here until it was really a lot warmer. You guys know that I start my dahlias in pots ahead of time. I'll be doing that soon. Once they sprout inside, I bring them out here and I just grow them out here the whole time. They never grow under lights in my house at all. I would never have room for that. And um, again, like I said, also really good for um, annuals that you pick up at the garden center along the way. So that's it. Um, like I said, we'll have two of these um, up pretty soon here and full. And then the nice thing about these is it all folds down into the size of that box. We actually keep, we actually keep the shelves just behind our garage because we don't have much room in there. We put the cover in the garage and then they just go away because I don't need them the rest of the year. So I don't have them taking up space in my yard. And to be honest, it's not maybe the most attractive thing in the world. So it's sort of nice to have it out of the way. So that's it. I hope this was helpful. Oh, quick thing. Uh, these range in price. I have bought them. Every time I bought them, I bought them on Amazon. These range in price quite a bit. I picked this one up for 199 Just two weeks ago, I saw it for 135 I really wish I had picked it up then. So shop around a little bit. If you're able to wait, you can kind of watch the price a little bit. There are some places where I've seen it off of Amazon where it's as much as $300. I would never pay that much for something like this. So this might help you. Also comes in different sizes if you don't think you need as much space. And that's it. Uh, hope that helps. We'll catch you soon.